Welcome back, Storm fans. Brent Cook. Today we're playing Rakdos Relay. Or is it potentially the future of the Epic Storm? Well, let's find out. So when you look at this deck list, it should be no surprise that it looks a lot like the Epic Storm, right? We see Wishclaw Talisman. It's not going to zoom in. Wishclaw Talisman, Burning Wish, Galvanic Relay. But at its core, this is the Epic Storm. And if you look at the Epic Storm over the last two months, it's been optimized for Galvanic Relay. The move to cut, ponder, and add in four copies of Mishra's Bobble. We're maximizing Mox Opal and TES. Today we're playing four copies of Mox Opal in this deck. But this deck today we're running four copies of Chrome Mox as well. We're really, really looking to push Galvanic Relay. But a part of pushing Galvanic Relay is Thoughtseize, a card that was cut from the Epic Storm in the beginning of 2020 when we switched to being a Wishclaw deck. But with Galvanic Relay, you want proactive protection, and Thoughtseize does that. So we're going to try Thoughtseize today to lead into Galvanic Relay for, you know, a little bit extra push there. There's also the fact that we're not using our life total today as a resource. This deck list does not play Ad Nauseum. No Ad Nauseum to be found, which means that we don't have to care about our deck's overall mana value, which is perfect for this Thoughtseize. So we're playing... Four copies of Echo of Aeons in the 75, a main deck copy of Ape Regender. Ooh, slime time, baby! Tendrils is back in the main deck. Hate this card, but it makes sense in this current list. And then three relays with the fourth in the board. So when you look at it, it really is just Rakdos TES or Rakdos Relay if you prefer. But this could be the future of TES, and it's an idea I've had for some time. And today I wanted to put pen to paper. Let's see if we can make it work. That's the idea here. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just, you know, two color TES. We have our Wish Claws, our Bobbles, Rite of Flame, Dark Ritual, all this good stuff. All of these cards have actually been in the Epic Storm since 2020. Every single card has been in the deck list. So it's a, I don't know. It's like a TS Hall of Fame almost, except we're excluding Ponder and Brainstorm. Uh, but when we go to the sideboard, we're seeing an old fan favorite come back. If you played TS pre Wishclaw era, you would know that it was the empty deck. Well, today we're the empty deck once again. I recently recorded a video with Tony Scaponi. You can find that video in the card above, where the sideboard plan was to board into a bunch of empties. This deck list is also capable of doing that. So we're going to board in the empty plan versus blue decks, shave some copies of Echo of Aeons, you know, dodge graveyard hate anyway, dodge those Narset effects, whatever. And we're just going to be looking to go fast. So how you beat blue decks, in my opinion, in today's age is storm spells. Today we have five storm spells in the main deck between Galvanic Relay, Tendrils, and Ave, and then, you know, five, or I'm sorry, six more in the sideboard. So we're really just looking to leverage the storm mechanic against these blue decks. And then we have Crash and Chain of Vapor as our answers in the board. No Abrupt Decay because we're not running green. So one of the things that these two cards do really well, in my opinion, is that they play well into Galvanic Relay. As I mentioned, everything in this deck list is there to support Galvanic Relay. I think it is the best Storm spell in the format. I mean, Storm Engine, actual card with Storm, whatever. This card is amazing, and I think that the future of combo in this format is pushing Relay. So that's what we're looking to do today. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I am truly excited to record this. I cannot wait. So I hope that you join me in the first match. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to head over there now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. I am on the play. Our opponent reveals a Yorian Sky Nomad. So here we have a, a decent hand. It just doesn't actually do anything meaningful. So I'm going to take a mulligan. Beautiful. This hand is great. We're going to keep. Bottom. The Chromox. Okay, so we're going to lead off on Thoughtseed here. They're a blue deck. Okay, we'll take the Fluster. Pass the turn. They play a Misty and they're passing. Draw. a Fetch. The question is, do we try to 
Echo now and give them exactly the brainstorm to find fours. Dark Ritual. Bushclaw. So this is a spot where Veil of Summer might actually have been better because Veil chokes them on mana between Fluster and Brain. They're going to fetch, and I imagine cast the Brain. They do. Storm is three. Wishclaw Talisman. The resolves activate the Claw. Grab a Lion's Eye Diamond. Cast it. Lotus Petal. Crack for triple blue. Spin that wheel we found a relay that's pretty good right of flames from seven. Oh baby here comes a big relay let's look at their top okay 10 cards coming off this relay pretty good pretty good we draw a card off the bobble from mox so one thing about deck building and i think sometimes people get too caught up on this TES, the Epic Storm, it's the Ad Nauseam deck. Ant, which stands for Ad Nauseam Tendrils, is actually a Past in Flames deck, but when you talk to a lot of Ant players about it, they're the Past in Flames deck, and sometimes people get too caught up in these labels. And I think the reality of the situation is we should just be trying to build the best decks possible, and don't put yourself into these lanes that you're not willing to change. So today, we're playing the Epic Storm without Ad Nauseam. That's essentially what this deck is. And if it's better, maybe we could Ad Nauseam moving forward. I'm not against that sort of stuff. I think you just really want to... What am I trying to say here? Leave yourself with the most options possible, I guess. Play the Mire. Let's fetch. Grab a Swamp. Thoughtsy. Jovan's Veto, huh? Living Wish? What's going on here? Okay, let's play Lion or Dark Ritual, I mean. No idea. Are they on like a Lurin? I honestly have no clue. Play an Opal. Wish Claw. Bright of Flame. Bright of Flame. Make a blue. Play the other Opal. Play Chrome Mox. And print the Ave Progenitor Ooze. Add some black mana, flashback the echo from 10. It resolves Dark Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond, Lotus Petal. We're just increasing Storm Count at this point for the Tendrils. Mishra's Bobble, Storm Mox, Storm is 15. Activate the Wish Claw and we'll go grab Tendrils. They did have a main deck fluster that I guess I should be worried about, but I could actually pay for a bunch of them here. Yeah, I could actually pay for lethal. We've taken game number one from whatever this deck is with Living Wish in it. Okay, so they are a Teferi deck. They're a blue deck. I could bring in the empty. We saw main deck fluster. Part of me just wants to resubmit. I could probably bring in Chain of Vapor, though, for Deafening Silence. Maybe shave a Chrome Mox and an Opal. Try that. Game number two, they reveal their Yorian. We are certainly keeping this. Let's party. Misty Rainforest, and they're passing. A draw. I like the Thoughtsy. Fetch. Grab Badlands. Cast it. They're going to use their Misty. Is it summertime? It is, in fact, summertime. Pass the turn. It's funny because Veil of Summer is not even a popular card these days. Another one. Let's attempt to cast it. <laughs> sure. Um, guess we'll take a Stoneforge. Pass. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to take the Ice Fang in case they draw Force of Will. They're just going to leave up Ice Fang so they can cast it. Bright of Flame. Bright of Flame. Play the Opal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Burning Wish. We're going to hold priority. Sacrifice for Triple Blue. Do they play the Ice Fang here? Or do they just let it resolve? They let it go. So I can empty for 12 against a known Stone Fort. I could also relay for 6. 
I don't know if empty for 12 actually does it. It probably does. Okay. 12 goblins. So they can fetch, they can play Ice Fang, untap into Stone Four. Yep. Can we do it? There's the Stoneforge Mystic. They do have a Batter Skull. That was another question, if they even had Batter Skull. But I guess in their 80-card deck, they are pretty likely to have it. I might have just lost. And they're going to main phase Endurance. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Draw. Wow, the third thought sees off the top rope. I would be so tilted if I were them. Take the batter skull. Get in there. What a rip. Wow. So they'll take 10 going to 8. They can prismatic ending 1, block 1, and take lethal. Rakdos relay. Get in there. Lethal damage. We did it. We are... Currently undefeated, 1-0, just like that. Round two coming up. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we are on the Plagueins Wong deck. Here we have turn one Wishclaw. But this hand's kind of slow. I think I'm just going to Mulligan. Not a keep, unfortunately, going to five. Better than four. So putting back two would probably just be Chromox, Bright of Flame, Burning Wish for Echo, Hope to draw LED. I'm actually going to go to four. This is just better. Okay. Bottom, bottom. Okay, so now we need to draw Lion's Eye Diamond, but at least we have early protection. Go get a basic swamp here. Thought sees you. They're going to force a pitching brain. Play out the Lotus Petal in case for some reason they're a discard deck and they try to discard me. It could be Doomsday. We don't know. Included Delta. <laughs> and it's Underground Sea. I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Come on, mana. Aw, pass the turn. Ponder. They did not shuffle. There's a diamond. They are forever. Play out the Chromox for Storm and Metalcraft. No imprint. Sacrifice for triple blue. Flashback Echo Vans from the Graveyard Storm 3. They have four in hand. They will fetch and respond. They grab another copy of Underground Sea. They cast Brainstorm. Echo back on the stack. It resolves. Okay. Play out Lotus Petal. Thought sees you. Oh, there's Shadow. Okay. And I believe our opponent's dead. Red of Flame, Lion's Eye Diamond. I thought that they were Doomsday. Wishclaw. Add triple black, mulligan to four, kill you through four thoughts he's on turn three. We got there. You'll have to see it. Wow, that was sweet. All right, so we're facing Shadow. I feel like em the empty plan is something we definitely want in this matchup. But I also think we want all the Echoes. So what do we board out? This is unique because Echo is typically the card I would board out here, but Echo is so good against discard and our opponent's deck doesn't play Pyroblast. So you don't normally have this situation. And I feel like it might be A for gender ooze just because it's tough to cap. And then we need two more. Maybe it's just shaving on an Opal and a Chrome Mox again. Let's try this. Game number two. Yeah. I will keep the bonkers hand. Thank you. Keep, 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 keep. Underground C. Blue mana for a Graft Digger's Cage. Okay. They're on four cards in hand. We draw another Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. Attempt to cast the Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Play out the diamond. 
I'm going to keep this virtual in hand. We're going to relay for five. Empty the Warns, Lotus Petal, Bloodstained Mire, Bobble, Bush Claw. Pass the turn. Are they really just passing here? Damn. Okay. Play out the Underground Sea, Lotus Petal, Fisher's Bobble, Dark Ritual. So we have enough resources here to play Relay into Empty. No need to even play out the Wish Claw. Relay reveals Burning Wish, Badlands, Land, Diamond. I mean, that's not bad either. All right, Triple Red, Empty for 10. Just storm spelling out the opponent like I talked about in the deck tech. And it's resolving. Okay. Goodbye me. Bobble you. Brainstorm. They missed their last land drop, so I'm sure they're interested in this. Potentially helps them find an answer to empty as well. And they conceded the game. Yes. Goblin plan working out so far. We are 204 0. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic storm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game round number three on the play so we have a relay hand i'll keep i don't know what our opponent's playing play out a bobble target them rashad and port the likely lands fetch we'll grab our basic here dark ritual Lotus Petal, Sacrifice it for Red, Rite of Flame, play out the Chrome Mox, no, play the Burning Wish into a Relay for 7, okay, cast it, Red Necropotence, cast the turn, we'll draw off the Bobble, I'm not even going to look at the Relay cards until after our opponent passes, we drew a Chrome Mox, okay, Cavern of Souls, are you on Goblins? It, they are. It's goblins. So I might even say that this is the mirror. Draw. Eve for Generous, huh? What can we do? I can hard cast Echo. Is that good enough? Play out the Delta. Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. Chromox. Fetch. Volcanic. Hardcast Echo. This should get the job done. Okay, play out the diamond. Bobble. Wait, I'm actually uh, one mana short of lethal. Right of Flame. Can't believe this. I am, in fact, one mana short. Am I supposed to leave? The... I think I'm actually supposed to leave the Chrome Mox in. That way I can draw it. All right, spin the wheel. From nine. So does this do it? It's from 10, from 11. So that's, once again, we're, no, we have it. We have it. Imprint the Thoughtseize. Tap this for a black. Play Opal. Keep the new Opal. Burning Wish, use the blue. Yes. Tendril. This version certainly feels explosive. Wow. Okay, we probably want the Chain of Vapors, and do we want Crash? Probably not. I wonder if I can board out the Tendrils. This also might be a matchup where you're supposed to board out the Relays. I think you want Thoughtseize for Mind Break. I think I'm going to try boarding out the Tendrils in one Relay. Try this out. It might be a bad idea to keep all the Echoes in, because they probably are a Leyline of the Void deck. But it just allows you to be so much fat. They mulligan to six. I'm going to try this. They're on five. Okay, no ley line. Paracus. Wonder if that's a I have mind break uh situation. 
We find Chain of Vapor, okay. Pass the turn. Oh, they definitely have my break in hand, 100%. All right, bobble ourselves. Yeah, I want that. Bobble you. Bad land. Okay. Draw off bobble. Draw off bobble. And, okay. Play out this diamond. Chrome Mox, we're gonna imprint the Rite of Flame. Pass the turn. <coughs> they play the Badlands that we saw. Goblin Lackey, that's crazy. Fetch with the Mire, we'll grab Volcanic. Let's bounce the Lackey. If they want, they could sacrifice the Caracas to bounce the Diamond to make us spend an extra spell. We drew Echo number two. Storm one. Sacrifice. We'll flash back. Floating some mana. We find another Echo. Lotus Petal. Bobble. Bright of Flame. Play Burning Wish. Storm is six. So I could do like a Chain of Vapor thing here. But if I do that, I lose my ability to hard cast Echo next turn, and I'm not really interested in doing it. So I think instead I'm just going to get goblins. And we're going to have a goblin off. That's the correct term, if, in case you're wondering. Empty. Look at your top card. Boardmaster. Hit the F6 key. Ooh, they're resolving. We draw off the bobble. We drew the other chain. Cavern of Soul. Surprise, surprise, they juice Goblin. Three mana. For a Goblin Sharpshooter, little do they know that I have Chain of Vapor. <laughs> Zoink! Look at that. 3060, the Epic Storm Rakdos Relay, whatever you want to call it. This is awesome. Really, really enjoying this turbo list. And I truly mean that. This could be the future. I'm pretty excited right now. Match number four coming up. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. On the play again, we're running kind of hot. All right, I'll take it. Sure. Keep. No clue what our opponent's playing. Play a polluted delta and we will pass the... Cycle Street Wraith. This might actually be Doomsday. Sure. Not loving this. It looks like they're passing. They shuffled on the Ponder. And our upkeep will sacrifice the Polluted Delta and we'll go grab Underground Sea. Thinner Deck of a Lance will potentially we draw a spell here. That's a certainly uh, a good spell. Cast it. Ripple Doomsday. Wow. Take the Cabal Ritual. Pass. They play Brainstorm. Blooded Strand. They sacrifice it. Come on, you did not find Dark Ritual in that Brainstorm. Duress. Oh, I shouldn't have crossed off the sea. They probably still have that. They should take the Diamond here. They took a Relay, really. A little surprised by that. I don't think that's the correct move, but I've been wrong before in my life. Draw. Lotus Petal. Diamond. And we'll relay for three. Rite of Flame, Opal, and Wish Claw. That's actually pretty good. The third Underground Sea. We know that they have at least one Doomsday in hand and they cast it. Alright, let's see if we can scratch together a win. There are eight life. And uh, we have enough to be a single force here. Rite of Flame. Opal. Tap that opal for a black. We'll play Wish Claw. That happened. Play another opal. They should just be deterministically dead here. Hold control, Burning Wish. Sacrifice the diamond for black. We'll go get these cyborg tendrils. We got there. Who needs Brainstorm when you have Galvanic Relay? Hell yeah. All right. This is not an Eve matchup. We can certainly take that out. We want the opposition agent. Now we need to take out one card. I believe it's supposed to be Chromox number four. Submit. Let's go. Game number two, we're on the draw. Our opponent's mulliganed. We will keep. 
I mean, we have the opposition agent. Her deck is sort of cold to it. Uh, what our hand is lacking is more mana. So that's a, what we're definitely looking for. They cycle a Street Wraith, Scalding Tarn, Underground Sea into... Ah, uh, that's a bummer. They have four in hand. Part of me wonders if Lotus Petal is actually the pick here. But from their perspective, it might just be the Opposition Agent or Diamond. They take the Lotus Petal. I thought that might have been the right pick. They agreed. Okay, got the Bobble. Look at our top card. I think we want that. Draw off the Bobble. They play land number two. Duress. This is probably just the Diamond. They do, in fact, take Lion's Eye Diamond. They fetch again, three cards currently in hand. They're passing. Draw for turn. It's a good one. Cast it. Returning the favor. We just have to take the fours. Okay, we need any mana source to potentially lock out our opponent. They consider. They mill deep analysis. Wow, what a card to mill off consider. I mean, if you had to mail a card, they would have picked that. And they ripped Doomsday. No! So if we draw a diamond off the top, we have a win. We'd have to draw exactly Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. Come on, deck. Please give me a diamond. Oh, wow. So they actually just had perfects. Kind of hard to believe. Sure. <laughs> you got me. Okay, we're headed over to game number three. We lost our first game of the league. Hit submit. Game three. This is so close. Unfortunately, I think it's a mulligan. This, on the other hand, get rid of the opal. So I'm choosing not to play around days here on the off chance that they ritual doomsday. Okay, I think we should try to snag this. Agent. They had four. Uh, okay. Not in a good spot here. They pass. Another land. We'll pass back. Doomsday. Yeah, they got me. There's not a draw in the deck that gets us out of this. So with the current build that we're playing, there's no Brainstorm. And Brainstorm would be the type of card that could get you out of this. But instead, our opponent just like opened up on a pretty strong hand. Turn one force, turn two doomsday. Our opponent has finished resolving doomsday at this point. But like I mentioned, we don't actually have a card to get us out of this. We are flat dead. Draw. I mean, Echo is nice or whatever, but we can't even cast it. They play a brainstorm. The lion's at diamond. They consider. They had a, another force. Into Oracle. That'll do. So unfortunately, we are getting our first round loss. We're now three and one. Let's see if we can come back and win five. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Oh no, I am so sorry. Apparently I misclicked when I hit record. We're in the middle of game number two. My game one against uh, Trad45. I am so sorry. Okay, so I won the die roll. I went turn one, land, chrome mox, pitch, ave, burning wish, echo, echoed, played lion's eye diamond, mox opal, thought sees my opponent, and they just conceded. So I didn't know what they were playing going into game number two, and it turns out they were on reanimator. So I boarded in two chain of vapors on the blind, and uh, here we are now. We're in the middle of game number two. I mulligan to five. They let off on a thought seize and have struggled to do much of anything since then. Wow, I am so sorry. Apparently I misclicked when I hit record. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I had to do the deck tech twice for the same reason. So uh, not running very hot tonight. Okay, so I can play out an echo this turn if we want. What I find interesting is I believe maybe my opponent fetched. I saw their top card with Bobble, 
And I thought that they were drawing a Chancellor, but they might have fetched it away past the turn here. So we're in the middle of a game two versus Reanimator. A little disappointed that I misclicked uh, that coming into the match. Serenity, a little bit slow at the moment. So it's time to uh, get going here. We draw another opal. We'll add black. Play out this opal. Activate the wish claw. Go grab a lion's eye diamond. All right, we'll spin the wheel. Firm three. Oh no. There's no payoffs here. My board's going to get wiped by the serenity. They can even use the wish claw before it's destroyed. That's a bummer. This is a combo that I do not enjoy. So they, oh, ah, I went to go narrate and uh, I did not use my bobble. They also could have used wish claw and they didn't. But I guess I didn't use my bobble. So how am I any better? That was a misplay. I have a feeling we're about to be going to a game number three. <sighs> That's defeating. They unmask me, sure. Probably taking the Lotus Petal. They're almost to the point where they could hard cast a creature. Oh, they have show and tell? They do. Okay. Game three. Hmm. Let's try Op Agent when we're on the play. Click Cement. Don't know if this is good enough. It's gonna have to be, I guess. Reveals Chancellor the Anak. It's annoying. Let's get that Chancellor trigger gone. We'll pass. Let's stay in Mire. Unmask targeting me and they remove a Dark Ritual. They take my Chain of Vapor, a card that right now I don't really care about because it doesn't help me put Echo on the stack. We have a Looting. This card's Double Chancellor. They have four cards in it. Lotus Petal. Do you have Reanimate? Another unmask. They have one card. Yikes. That doesn't help. All right. So the reason to play out Mox Opal here is if they discard me again, I could Dark Ritual and have them discard the Echo. It looks like they're passing the turn. Come on, Doc, please. Lion's Eye Diamond. Nope. We have to pass. Why would you not Faithless Looting Land? Grab a scrabble and they're passing again. Draw. We can now hard cast the echo. Dark ritual. Dark ritual. Blue, blue. Cast echo floating a black. It resolves. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Silence. What? Should have played out the bobble, I guess. Uh, let's take the show and tell. Pass the turn. They can hard cast ley line here. They do. Draw. Draw another right of flame. Play out the bobble. We have one more badlands to thin out of our deck, and then we have no more fetchable. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about the basic swap. Right of flame. Do it again. Dark ritual. Let's flash back the Echo. Firm is five. From Mox, this should do it. Remove the Thoughtseize. Wish Claw. Wish Claw. Tap the Opal for a black. Play an Opal. Play a Chrome Mox from 10. No imprint. Now we'll go get Lion's Eye Diamond. Play the Diamond. Sacrifice it for triple black. Activate and we'll go grab Tendril's bag. Okay, so we're gonna finish this league four one with Rakdos relay. Sweet, love it. All right, so here's our deck list in front of us. So when we look at it, what performed well this league? I think it would be obviously Galvanic relay and Echo of Aeons. Ave literally never came up except being imprinted to Chromox. The main deck tendrils, you know how I feel about this card. I don't think it's actually something we want. We lost a Doomsday because we didn't have access to Brainstorm, which was sort of awkward. Um, well, 
it w would have been a hypothetical out instead of drawing dead, right? So then you have to ask yourself, was Thoughtseize better than Veil of Summer here? In our Eclaveon's deck, I'm not so sure if it actually was. MT was actually surprisingly good. Our first three rounds, each round we won a game using MT. So that was pretty sweet. So I was really, really impressed by MT this time. So coming into the final round, I started brainstorming and I went back to TES. And I started asking myself, what could this deck look like? So if we keep Veil of Summer because it plays better with Echo, we lose Ad Nauseam. And then we put in two more Echoes. We don't have the main deck Tendrils and we don't have eight. But we could have something like this. You could shove Ave into the board to bring in against those like, is it Murktide, Blue Red Delver matchups or whatever. But this deck list is currently 61 cards. So if you want three Echo in the main deck, you have to find another card to cut. So you could play three Opal if you wanted, or you'd have to find something else. Uh, but you could play something like this. Is it better than stock 13, four? I don't know. Uh, but this was a really interesting experiment tonight. I had a lot of fun playing this deck and I really mean that. I think thought Seize was good. Like, I don't think it was bad. I did get veiled, which, you know, not fun. But it also had a timely draw to rip out a batter skull. So maybe Rakdos Relay has legs. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. And uh, to close out the video, let's open up some chests. Do I get anything good? Mirror Pool. This was actually terrible. Just terrible. Well, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.